boys and girls. Welcome to Penny's Reading Nook. I'm here at the Patch Office in Spencer, West Virginia this morning, and it was a little brisk at my house for April 1st. It was 32 degrees at my house, so we go from 50s at night down to 32. Burr, but oh well, what are we going to do about it? I'm thinking Mother Nature had an April Fool's joke on us today, don't you? Yeah, I do too. But enough about the weather. It is what it is. I think we should get along with our activities today, right? Right. Well, I have a book today, and it's from the Elephant and Piggy Collection. We'll talk more about that here in a minute. And then I have an art project that we're going to do. And then there's also a game that you can do with it, okay? So first, we'll start off with the book. And again, this is one of the Elephant and Piggy books. And if you look, they are written and illustrated by Mo Willems. I love his books. Just love them, love them. This particular book, when I open it up, I recently had a birthday in March, and Miss Pam in my class bought this book for me. And then inside of it, they made a little card that said, Happy Birthday, Miss Penny. And they all traced their names inside the book. We taped it in there so I can have it as a remembrance. Love it. Well, the book we're going to read today, one of the five stories we're going to read today, we'll go back here to the cover. Number one is I am going. Number two is we are in a book. Number three, oh, I broke my trunk. Number four is listen to my trumpet. And number five is I, I'm a frog. Ribbit. And I thought because of springtime being right around the corner and hearing the spring peepers, I thought I would read the frog one today, okay? There we go. And again, this is called I'm a Frog, and it was written and illustrated by Mo Willems. And here it says, A Ribbiting Tale. And then you see Piggy there with a little wink. I'm a frog. Ribbit. Gerald's like, what was that? Did you hear something? Ribbit. Piggy. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. I don't think Gerald knows what to do, does he? What are you doing, Piggy? <laughs> I'm a frog. Gerald's a little shocked there. You are a frog? Yes. I did not know that. I was sure you were a pig. You look like a pig. And your name is Piggy. Hmm, I'm going to think about this for a minute. I was a pig. Now, I'm a frog. Ribbit. Ha <laughs> Huh. You learn something new every day. When did you become a frog? Oh, about five minutes ago. <gasps> five minutes ago? Ah. Five minutes ago, she was a pig. And now, she is a frog. Ah. Ribbit. Huh. Oh, no. What if I become a frog? Hopping all day? Ugh. Eating flies? Ugh. Ribbit. Oh, no. Look at Gerald. He's starting to sweat. He's becoming a little nervous. <laughs> I do not want to be a frog. Ooh, scared Piggy so much. It is okay, Gerald. It is pretend. It is the end. Oh, no, Gerald. Pretend. I am pretending. What 
is pretending. Pretending is when you act like something you are not. Wow, and you can just do that? You can just go out and pretend to be something you are not? Sure, huh. everyone pretends. Even grown-up people? Uh, all the time. Well, you really do learn something new every day. Do you want to try it, Gerald? Do you want to pretend to be a frog? Ribbit. I cannot. Yes, you can. Ribbit. He's doing the frog hop. No, I can't. Yes, you can. Oh my goodness, look at that. No, I can't. Yes, you can. 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 No, I can't. Whew, goodness gracious. Gerald, why can't you pretend to be a frog? Because <laughs> I am a cow. Moo! Oh, look. He made a wonderful cow, didn't he? Piggy fell in love there. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Moo! Oh, goodness. Ribbit, moo, ribbit, moo, ribbit, moo, ribbit, woof, ribbit. Ah, oh, wait a minute. Did you just hear that? That pigeon. He woofed. The pigeon must be pretending to be a frog today. The end. Oh, that was such a good book. And that was I'm a Frog. And it was written and illustrated by Mo Willems. That was such a funny book. I love that one. Well, let's get some stuff moved out of the way. And I'll show you the art project. Now, this morning, I just brought the finished art project. We're going to make a frog. So then you can go ribbit, 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 ribbit. Then we can be just like Piggy, right? And we can pretend to be a frog. We can pretend to be whatever we want to be, right? Right. But for this particular project, we're going to be a frog, okay? And you're just going to need a few simple things that I bet you already have around your house. I'll turn it over. You need a small paper plate. I believe they might be called like the luncheon paper plates. If you don't have paper plates, you can just trace a circle. If you want it to be a small frog, you can do that. Or if you want it to be a large frog, you can do that, okay? So we need a paper plate, a popsicle stick, and I just taped mine on the back there. We're also going to need green paint, black, construction paper, green construction paper, and white construction paper, okay? So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get out your green paint and a paintbrush and you're going to paint your paper plate green, okay? Now this is the side, um, like the upside you might as well say, the side that you would put the food on when you were eating. Well for this project, turn your paper plate over. You want to paint the back of your paper plate. Paint it green, and then while it is drying, you want to get out your construction paper, okay? You decide what kind of mouth you want your frog to have. He can have whatever kind of mouth he wants, okay? You decide. So you're going to cut his mouth out of black construction paper, and then you're going to make three different size circles. You're going to have a small circle that's black, a medium size circle that is white, and a large size circle that is green. So small, medium, large, black, white, and green, okay? And you can find, you can make your own circles freehand or look around your house and find some circles that you could trace in three different sizes. You just want a small one, a medium one, and a large one, okay? 
So you trace them, you cut them out, and you glue them together, and then you have your frog eyes. Then when your paper plate is dry, just glue the mouth on, glue your eyes where you want your eyes to be. And what I like about doing the, doing them, cutting them out, is you can make your frog have its own kind of personality just by the way you place the mouth and you place the, his eyeballs, okay? Like mine looks like he's kind of looking over that way a little bit, like, hmm, I'm gonna hop over there. I wonder what's over there, okay? And then when it's all dry, you're gonna take a popsicle stick and glue a popsicle stick or tape it to the back of your plate. And then abracadabra, bada bing, boop, you're ready to be a frog. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Do, 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 do. and you can hop away, okay? That was kind of fun, wasn't it? Well, now for the game I'm gonna show you, okay? And if you've watched some of the videos um, with Mr. Ed, Mr. Fava, who does his Cuisinaire rods, this project goes along with the colors of his Cuisinaire rods, okay? So what I did was I went online and I found a shape of a lily pad. And I might need to pop these up a little bit so you can see them better because of them glowing. Oh, and I believe Mr. Justin's gonna get a set of Cuisinaire rods for me and we can look through them, we can match them up, okay? So, thank you, Mr. Justin. With this one, I traced 10 lily pads, okay? And then I put the numbers one through 10 on each lily pad, okay? You'll see them there. Do, 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 do. And then Miss Pam made me the little lily flower that goes on the lily pads. She drew that for me, and I thought she did an excellent job with that. So then before we could play our game is we had to decide what colors we were gonna make them. And I thought, you know what? Let's turn this into a Cuisinaire lesson with our Cuisinaire rods. So we got them out, and when we put them in order, our number one is white. Right, right, so we had a white flower. Okay, what was number two? Number two was red. So we got out the red ones, okay. Number three, this one's kind of hard to see. Hopefully I'll put it down there where you can see it. Number three is light green, okay. Number four is purple, got it, okay. Number five equals what is yellow. Oh, oh, there's just one yellow in that box. Oh, goodness. So we had our yellow. Okay. Number six. What's number six? Number six is dark green. Got it. Okay. What about number seven? What color is number seven? Number seven is black, right? Okay. All right, what color is number eight? Number eight is brown, right, okay. Then number nine is what? Blue, there we go. And the last one in the Cuisinaire rods and the last one of our lily pads is the number 10. And what color is the number 10? It is orange. And there we go, that kind of tied it in it's a fun, active game, a gross motor or large muscle game to play, but it was also a math review game, okay? You can see the numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And I had each one represented on a lily pad. Now let's count backwards. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Now you notice I took my lily pads and I laminated them. Well, we have a lot of kids using them at building blocks and I wanted this game to last us a while, so I laminated them. You don't have to do that at your house. Just get you some green paper, cut out your lily pads if you wanna make the flowers to go with the Cuisinaire rods. Feel free to do that. Now let me move those out of the way. And then I'll show you pictures of how the game is actually played, okay? 
So once you get your, your lily pads made, you need to place them on the floor and you need to make a path. Space them out however you want to space them. Um, and then what you have to do is, guess what? You have to become, you have an idea what I'm gonna say? A frog! You're right, you have to become a frog. Now if you look, I had a couple pictures that I took of the kids of Building Blocks doing this game. You will see that I had the lily pads placed out in a path and they had to follow the numbers one through 10 and frog hop or frog leap from lily pad to lily pad. Okay, there you can see two that was just getting ready to jump. They were just getting ready to launch off of the lily pad. And then I had two other pictures and apparently on my camera, I did not have the action switch turned on. So my picture kind of, kind of blurred a little bit. But there you can see there was a frog in mid leap and boy did he launch off of that lily pad. He did a really good job. And then right there was another one of one getting ready to, to launch off the lily pad. But again, I did not have my action button switched over so they were a little blurry and I apologize for that. But that kind of gives you an idea of how the game is played, okay? You're going to take your lily pads, place them out in a path, do you have to put them in order of one through 10? No, just place them out far enough where you can frog leap from number to number. And then once you go from one to 10, you can always turn around and go backwards, count backwards from 10 back to one, okay? So I hope you enjoyed these activities that I did with you today and I hope you try them at home. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. He wants you to try it too. So that's it for me today. I will see you next time. See you later, alligator. Bye-bye.